And uh, it's really fun for me to watch new people try to say the entire name. Like a substitute or a new teacher. I walk into school, just look up. Oh, is it moving? Alright, that's cool. You're here. I'm gonna need some juice. Something like a water. Give me something to drink. Alright, everybody form a line behind me. We're gonna tackle the syllable by syllable. And we're gonna get through this. Sir, do not stand up. We're gonna get your name. We're gonna get your name. Otherwise, I get people that'll just make stuff up, like letters, or they'll just put stuff together. Uh, they'll just be like, oh, some mother, or you're here. Ramalama Ding Dogs! Ramalama Ding Dog here. Hello? Yeah. Uh, ramen noodles? Ramen noodles in the house? Make the noodles. I like to eat them. Spot me at 50. Anyone? I live in, uh, Carriage Park, or as I like to call it, Brown Town. And, uh, it's, the management is so-so. Uh, we had a, we had a washing machine break down, well, it didn't actually break down. Um, they came over, we called them up, and around, uh, six months or so later, they showed up at the door. The guy knocked over and said, So, you got a washing machine problem? Uh, he said, what's that look like, washing machine? I'm not very familiar with the term you're using. So I took him downstairs. He go, washing machine, yeah. We have those back where um, I live. Yeah, I use that to wash my clothes. All right, back up. I might need some space. Here's what he did. He took out a pen and did this. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I hit it with my blue pen. There's nothing wrong with it. It's cool. Really, blue pen? Yeah, why don't you try a red pen that's more equipped to the washing and drying utilities. Or a green pen, because that's like a more all-around pen to test stuff out. <laughs> he did come back and he was like, yeah, um, there's a leak from a pipe behind your washing machine. kind of exploded. Yeah, I didn't really see that. My, uh, I, I should really check with, with the green pen next time. So he came down, he had a sledgehammer in his hand, and he did this. He came down and he went... Or you might want to step back again. Ah! It's still in my wall, if you want to see it. I'm holding up a museum. It's five dollars to get in. <laughs> uh, my mom didn't like that. She doesn't really like violence. She doesn't really understand the American football. And she doesn't like it too much at all. And uh, she usually comes up to me and she asks me, You know, I don't understand why you like the sport at all. Alright? It is completely violent. Everybody is hitting something, and let me tell you something right now. The ball is over. I don't know why the ball is over. The ball is supposed to be round, that's why it's called a ball. It's not called a oval ball, okay? It's called an oval ball, it's not correct, sir. And let me tell you one more thing. A ball, it's, it's called football, and nobody's using the foot. Let me tell you something, sir. This is your foot. This, right down here, not, not this. I don't know why everybody's throwing the ball and trying to catch it when it's called football. <laughs> One more thing, let me tell you, it's a very violent sport. I don't appreciate everybody just hitting for the oval ball. It's very oval and I don't appreciate the hitting. Are you playing the sport? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be. No, you're not. You go upstairs and you do your mathematic homework. I don't want you playing the sport anymore. <laughs> My dad gets uh, a lot of business calls and uh, I was able to peek into one of them and I realized something about business calls with Indian people in the group. So uh, there's always a Kevin and a John in, in within the group. Uh, and nobody nobody likes Kevin. Let's be honest. <laughs> if you have a friend named Kevin, you just go up to him and you tell him, hey look, I don't like you because your name is Kevin and just run away. And there's also a John who everyone likes. And my dad usually sits on the computer with uh, he might send an email to Kevin and uh, he, yes, he types at the chin level because it's most comfortable at the chin. If you haven't typed there, it's magnificent. So he goes, uh, Dear Kevin, I don't like you very much. Your last finance report was completely horrific. I don't understand what you're saying at all. And I hate you once again. Sincerely, Mohan. But yes, this my lap book. <laughs> John, my dad, everyone loves John. John is the shining star of the group. 
And uh, my dad will usually be sending an email to John going, John, you're a great man. I'd like to buy your dinner sometime. Until the morning. P.S. Meet me in the alley later back. I have a proposition for you. John will email my dad back. Yeah, it sounds good. I'll, I'll, I'll take you up on the dinner, but not a proposition. Uh, BTW, did you get that report from Kevin? What an idiot. <laughs> Everyone asks me about the dot on our foreheads. And, uh, you know, most people ask me very rudely. They go, hey, man. What's the dot for? What's the dot? I don't know the dot. I don't understand the dot on your head. Is it for, is it, is it you are here? Is that what it's for? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. It's an entire country of you are here signs. We have no idea where we are without that dot. We're just completely lost going. <laughs> Somebody help me, I've lost my dot. It fell off. I don't know where I am. It does not say you are here, I'm sorry, excuse me. Kevin, sir, excuse me, I need your help. Please, sir. Yeah, it's also, it's actually, uh, I'm gonna reveal the truth if uh, you guys are front of mine. Uh, it's, it's actually a button that activates Godzilla in the movies. Yeah, the Japanese people really stole that from us, so we got really mad and we pushed the button and Godzilla comes up and destroys the town. You know, it's usually some guy just going, yeah, you like it? Yeah, that's right. I'm pushing the button. Hey, don't you pull that down. I don't understand how many times. Ramesh, come here. Give God a friend, man. Give God a friend. Rodan or whatever his name is. Give him a friend. All right. Yeah, I don't know. You don't rebuild it with your bad subtitle and your stupid mouth moving. Hey, look at me. I'm in a Japanese movie. Uh. <laughs> I used to uh, I used to work at, at Subway, which was I had to quit because there were, uh, let's say, stupid customers. Um, I, had a, I had a one guy come in, huge, like maybe somewhere near three, four tons, could barely stand upon his own weight, walks over to the counter and does this. Yo, where's your menu? Senor, what's going on? Menu. Should I see that in Espanol? What's going down? It's like, all right, here's the menu. So after he, you know, cranks his back back and checks out the menu, he usually orders about a hundred thousand sandwiches. Going, yeah, all right, let's make it the uh, chicken bacon ranch, foot long, all these are foot long. Uh, another chicken bacon. Let's go ahead and say, ooh, I don't know, one more chicken bacon, it's good a ham, with the chicken bacon on top of that one, give me a veggie with chicken bacon on top of that, be empty, chicken bacon on top of that, one turkey, one wedgie with chicken bacon also, and uh, let's go with turkey and, um, yeah, okay, put the chicken bacon on top of that too, yeah, that'd be great. See, so he comes to the vegetables, just, oh, God, it looks delicious, oh. Yeah, just put the vegetables on there, oh, yeah. Don't be, don't be afraid of the, don't be afraid of the jalapenos. Oh, yeah, that's good, yeah, that's good. Mmm, yeah. All right, for a drink, I'd like a diet Pepsi. Diet Pepsi, no real, no real, excuse me, McSpittles. Can you please step back from the counter? I will get your diet. Please don't eat me. <laughs> I, it's really bad when the Indian people come in because they usually like to, like love to talk to me and I don't like to talk to them. <laughs> they usually come up and they go, Are you Indian? You know, I thought so. I had a sense that you were Indian. I have a sense for all Indians because I have my Indian gay lady, you know. The Indian radar? Are you familiar? No, nobody is. You know, I always come up to them and go, Yo, peep, represent MHD, MHD. You know, nobody knows what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the great Mahatma Gandhi. Everybody familiar? Yeah, I'm familiar. Good, because my friend Ramesh over there does not, I don't know what he's doing. He's calling on Rodan or Godan. I don't know what he's calling upon. Look, I want a sandwich <coughs> for longer six inch. I, the, the big, you know, give me the big one. The foot long, no, the big one, man. The 
foot long is the big one. Yeah, the, just give me the big, biggest one you got. And my knife stops right about there. Um, yeah, I, I went to the doctor's office a couple weeks back. That was, that was not fun. My dad loves to send me in there. Just, you know, I, I went for a routine shot. My dad loves it. You know, he'll just probably be like, you know what, give him all the shots you can find. Just stick needles in his hand and just push it in. It's, it's cool, it's cool, don't worry about it. I have a band-aid at home, we'll put that on one of it. I go in, the doctor, uh, the, I, the doctor is probably the only good part about the doctor's office because he comforts you a little bit. And he'll be walking down the hall, yeah, it's going to be routine, shot, you know, shots, nothing, nothing too big. You, you'll be fine. Everything's going to be super good. Super good. All right, cool. Yes, super good. Don't you forget it. Yeah, all right, cool. I got it. Super good. Now, I've realized you get one of two people. You get one person is a crazy psychotic nurse who's been like an assassin for the past 30 years and she had to retire to become a nurse for some weird reason. I don't know, medical benefits maybe. And you get the newbie who has no idea what she's doing.